Hey out there, it's Friday, TGIF, thank God I'm free. So I got the house all painted yesterday over here in Kingsburg, right? I got it all primed, I paint it, come on. And then I had some, uh, some paint left over from the upstairs, so I started doing the walls. It's gonna come out beautiful. Hey, a quick shout out to a friend of mine that I spoke to the other day for the first time in like 35 years, 35 years. <laughs> Larry had some surgery, and from what I understand, everything went according to plan. I'm grateful. I'm sending you out some white healing light right now so that you recover quickly. And then we can get together before you and your wife go down to Florida. Who would have thought we'd be talking about surgeries and retirement, huh? Another shout out is Tommy the contractor I spoke to this morning. He's doing well. He had a little bout with some of his own medical stuff, so I'm glad he's recovered. So anyway, I'm over here at Kingsburg. I started doing the walls with the same color paint that I had upstairs, but contrary to yesterday's video, I'm gonna use eggshell in the kitchen. It's more scrubbable. So I'm gonna use eggshell in here because it has a little bit of a sheen, but the walls are nicer in here because they're brand, it's brand new drywall. So it's gonna be nicer. Then I'm gonna go get the matching color to do the dining room and living room. So let me show you what the color's gonna look like. Well, yeah, it's a little subtle. <laughs> it's really not that big of a difference from the white. And don't look at the spackling over there because that's where the uh, cabinets are gonna go. So I'm hiding all that. So here I'm talking to myself again. But Harry, when I watch these like HGTV shows, they do these pops of color. Like there's bold greens, or I even saw fuchsia one time. And here you are using some kind of subtle beige. I didn't know you were a beige guy. All right, that was a conversation I had with myself. And then I had this other realistic conversation. It says, you know what? This appeals to just about everyone. And if I was gonna sell the house, someone could put their own pops of color on it. But for me, this works. And nothing for nothing, but the bright, white molding once I put it up it's gonna be fantastic so I'm moving along I didn't think I was gonna break a sweat but I did I got most of the kitchen done I want to give you guys a little tip on painting a couple little tips it's not like I'm a professional painter my friend Bob he's a professional painter and he does an amazing job so I'm not even saying that I'm at that level I know a little bit about painting though the reason why I want to give a tip is I got this idea because last night I was out and I came home I don't know what time it was, 7.30, 8 o'clock. And I walk into the living room and there's Diana watching TV and we got a pretty big screen. We got like 75, 80 inch screen uh, TV. And I'm not like saying, oh, I got a bigger screen than yours. <laughs> the reason why I'm saying that is, well, first of all, we treated each other to, uh, to that for a Christmas present, I think last year or the year before. And it's amazing watching the NFL. Anyway, get back to where we go. I walk in and who does she have up on the big screen? Moi, me. She got videos up. She never watches my videos. So now I know I better, I better watch what I say. Huh? So she got me up there. Hey, I can go grab popcorn and I can watch me all day. <laughs> what do they say? Many true things are said in jest. <laughs> all right, let me tell you why I was bring, bringing that story up. Because she said she liked the tips that I get. So if you already know all this stuff, then you know, fast forward through it. If not, let me give you a couple little tips. When possible, I like to use a screen. Uh, that's a, a screen for a five gallon bucket of paint. It's so much easier than emptying and filling and cleaning the, uh, the, the, the roller trays. And at the end of the day, you just take your, uh, your lid and you put it on and it's fresh the next day. Now, if you had any paint sitting around for any length of time, I'm talking even for me, even if it's just sitting for, for a day or two after they shook it at the, uh, you know, the, the hardware store for you, then I'm still gonna stir that thing. And depending on how long it sits, I'm gonna really be pretty vigorous about that. So this is what I use. I got my trusty drill and one of those stirrers that I put in the drill. And I usually stir it around for at least two minutes. You want the paint to be uniform when it goes up there. And here's a couple of little tips. Now, sometimes I'll see somebody painting and like talk about like almost like wigging out. I'll see somebody painting with a roller 
and they're putting like the last drop of paint that they have on that roller on the wall. Like, I'm gonna get one more stroke out of this. <laughs> Talk about putting me over the edge. Put paint on it. All right, that was a little dramatic, but keep your roller and your paintbrush wet while you're painting. Don't let it get too dry. It, you run into problems. It doesn't look good in the end, and it's just a, it's just a much harder job to do. So that's one of the tips. It might look a little blotchy because it's still wet. However, man, that wall looks nice. Real quick painting story. So I must have been about 19 and I already developed some carpentry skills, drywall skills, some other skills, and I'm going out to paint. And I get a pretty big job. It's a two-story house. I think it was in brick. Yeah. And I go around and I paint the whole house. It comes out nice, you know, with a roller and a paintbrush and stuff like that. And where the where I had the ladder up on, on the, the house as I went around the house to paint the top, there was those sections that weren't painted because obviously I couldn't paint because the ladder was there. So then after I finished the job, I went back and I touched all that stuff up, all the missing spots. It was just a small problem. And the problem was, and I didn't notice at the time, that's what I'm telling you guys. Even though it's the same color paint, like let's say I'm using buckwheat flour. It's got to be like from the same lot. And in this particular case, when I went to, pat, when I went to go, you know, fill in the spots I missed, it was a, it was a little different lot. So the house looked like it was like polka dots. I drove around to all these kind of Sherwin-Williams stores to try to find the same lot I could, and I wound up having to repaint most of the house. That's a tip for today. I'll tell you, you could be having a bad day, and you come home, and there's Daisy. One of the benefits of only living five minutes from this project is I get to go home and have a cup of coffee and see Daisy. So I got a coat of, at least one coat of paint on everything in the house, except for the, uh, the bathroom and the hallway. So if you were wondering what a wall looks like after it's spackled and it has eggshell on it, that's what it looks like. It looks amazing. So yesterday I went on and on about using flat paint instead of eggshell or anything uh, shiny. And then I realized that I had like three gallons left from upstairs when I painted and it's eggshell. So I went around and painted everything with eggshell. And then I'll probably come back later on if, if I want to do flat in here. But let me show you how it came out. It looks beautiful. You're gonna have to look at previous videos to get a full appreciation of how good this looks. But I mean, it was flowery wallpaper with nasty glue and stuff. I patched everything, patched above that door. Oh, you see the section over here? I was gonna leave it, but I said, I'm cutting it out. I cut that section out because it bubbled. The drywall paper was bubbling, so I cut it out. Problem is, I don't have any spackle here, so I gotta go get some spackle. And then I'll put a second coat on. That's the living room, so... It's moving along, right? I gotta put some spackle on that. So anyway, I gotta get a couple gallons of spackle. One of my friends just stopped over to see how it was going, so I took him for a tour. Feels good. However, unless you saw this project when it started, it's hard to get an appreciation. But things are moving now. What's in store for next week? I'll finish the painting. I'll get the cabinets on site. Uh, I'll finish the bathroom. Finish the bathroom, that means uh, paint, tile, floor, get my uh, plumber extraordinaire over here put the toilet the vanity in get everything going so the bathroom is going to be done before the end of next week i'm making a commitment the cabinets will be on site everything will be painted possibly the uh, crown molding will be going up maybe even some of the other molding so i got big plans for next week have an awesome weekend if i don't talk to you